Hello, good day everyone. I am John Winston Samson. Welcome to my educational blog. So today's video, we're gonna tackle about the problem-based learning. So what is problem-based learning? Problem-based learning is a method of teaching in which a real-world problems are used as a vehicle for the students' learning of concepts of principles as opposed to direct presentations of facts and concepts. So this is a student-centered approach in which the students are challenged to learn by themselves by having research, case study, like that. Problem-based learning is designed to teach students how to teach themselves or becoming master problem solvers along the way. Problem-based learning are often used in medical education where students work through clinical cases, real-life patients. As an example, let's say that our problem-based learning case describes a group of students having a research on how to solve problem of segregating garbages in their school. So at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to identify how to properly manage the garbages on their school through conducting research or case study with their own and with the last guidance of their teacher. According to Dutch, Gra, and Allen of 2001, there are five characteristics of good PVL that transcends field. First is the students must be motivated to seek out more understanding about the concept. So, of course, um, the study that will be given to the students will be, it, it should be interesting and it is relevant to their subject. Second is, the problem should require students to make reasoned decisions. Third is, the problem should incorporate objectives in such a way as to connect with the previous course or knowledge. Last is, if it is used for a group, the problem needs a level of complexity to ensure that the students must work together to solve it because some of the students doesn't collaborate with their other classmates. So you must change the level of complexity for them to work, to, for them to have a collaboration. How to simply use PBL in a classroom? First is, Choose an idea, concept, or principles that are always taught in the given course. Second is, think of a real-world problem under consideration. Third is, the problem needs to introduce in stages so that the students will be able to identify the issues that will lead them to research the targeted concepts. Fourth is, Write a detailing plan on how using the problem in the course. The final step is identify case sources for the students. Students need to learn to identify learning resources on their own but it can be helpful if the instructor indicates some few good resources to get them started. The method of distributing a PBL falls under the three teaching method techniques. First is the case study. Second is role play and the third, third is simulation. Case studies are written form. Role plays have students improvise scenes based on character or description. Simulations often involve computer-based program. As a quick recap, through problem-based learning, students can examine cases, problems, follow their curiosity that come up as they explore and collaborate with their other group. To share and learn information. In this way, they can actively construct webs of knowledge which can help them remember information that they use to solve this problem and the next one too. So that's all for problem-based learning. I hope you learned something today. I am John Winston Samson. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.